Peace. What's going on with you guys, man? This is going to be a quick little video. First video of the new month, new day, new week. You know what? You know, we're just going to have a fresh start, man. Clean slate. Let let the new month of August be a, a month of blessings, prosperity, you know, new opportunities, you know, happiness, peace and love and all that stuff, man. It's a brand new month. It's time. It's time to start off fresh, clean slate. July is past us. It's over. You know, let's move on, man. Let's, you know, let, let's start claiming our blessings and start being obedient to the most high. So the, the message I want to get out real quick, man, not going to be too long, is start embracing being bougie around folks. Now, what do I mean by being bougie? Now, I don't mean being bougie in terms of how you dress or how you're looking. Now, of course, you got to look fresh whenever you go out in public. You got to represent yourself to the fullest, okay? But when I mean bougie is I'm talking about what your energy, okay? Your time, your attention, and just with your life. Start being bougie with your life around folks. And what that means is don't be telling people what's going on with you. Don't be quick to tell people your business. Okay, learn to keep things on the down low. Learn to keep things private to yourself and stop giving away so much information to strangers. And a perfect example is at work. Now, when you're at work, you are there to work. You got a job to do. You are here to create a paycheck, a source of income, and then, you know, get up out of there. You know what I mean? Like, you're not there to tell folks your business, okay? You're not there to tell people your family situations or your family troubles. You know, keep that stuff private. Nobody has to know your drama. Nobody has to know about what's going on with you. You know, don't be so quick to be an open book. You know, don't be an open book, period. OK, some some people like to tell you, you need to be an open book. You need to you need to start opening up. You need to be more comfortable around people. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. That's the wrong advice. Don't be so open and too comfortable with people, especially people you don't even know that well. You know, you don't know what they're like. You know, you want to be cordial around people. You want to kind of keep you know, at arm, you want to keep people at arm's length. Okay. Even with family members, you know, certain friends, you want to keep them at arm's length, but you are there to do a damn job and get the hell home. You know what I mean? You're not there to tell people all of your issues and all of your, your drama. Okay. This is a, this is private stuff that you need to keep to yourself because anybody can run with your information and use it against you. Anybody can prey on your downfall. When you tell people certain things that is confidential to you, that person can, you don't know who you're dealing with, once again. And these energy vampires, these shadow demons, these NPCs, are not to be trusted with your information. They're not to be trusted with what plans you have for your life or what you've been through or what you're going through right now, they, that's none of their damn business. Understand that. Whatever you're going through in your life, man, you need to thug it out. You need to go to God with your problems. Whatever situation that you may be facing, God is the answer to this problem. Give all your problems to God. Do not give it to no man nor woman. Because they are, they are not to be trusted. Some, some people, or most people, actually like to see you lose. Some people like to see you when you're down. When you are having misfortunes and stuff like that. They like to see you at a lower vibration because... Those same people are operating on that same frequency. 
they are operating on that low vibration. So they're going to like it when they see you at that vibration. When you're not doing too well. You know, things are not really going your way right now. And you're, you're, you're going through the fire in your life right now. It's best to keep those, you know, it's best to keep that under wraps, right? So when I say bougie, bro, be bougie when it comes to, when it comes to information, when it comes to your business, when it comes to your plans, when it comes to the problems, the problems that you may be facing. OK, stop being an open book. You know, who cares if they think, oh, he's too bougie. Oh, look at him thinking he thinking he's all that, you know. Look at him all arrogant and stuff like that. You know, let those people think of that, you know, think that way of you. If they think you're bougie, then hell, embrace it. Embrace being bougie. There ain't nothing wrong with being bougie sometimes as, as long as you are maintaining your peace. And you are getting through the things that you need to get through. You can't trust other people with your information or the problems that you have in your life. You can't you can't depend on those people to solve them. You don't know who you're dealing with at the end of the day. Th those people that you're telling your problems to, you do not know who you're dealing with. You don't know what type of spirit that those th that those people are latching themselves onto. You do you do not know. So you have to be very cautious and learn to keep things cordial especially at work, especially at work, man, you got to learn to be cordial. Okay. It's okay to be friendly and kind, but you got to, you got to learn how to fall back on that kindness every now and then you got to learn to be more mysterious and be cordial. Okay. Don't talk too damn much. You're like, once again, you are there to do a job and get the hell home. That's how you got to operate. And if they don't like it, oh, too fucking bad. You are not there to impress these people. You are there to do a job and get home, create a source of income. So don't. So stop being an open book. Because those people do at the end of the day, they don't care what you're going through. They may want you to open up, but not for but not for the reasons that you think they want you to. See, some people have a, a hidden agenda an ulterior, um, an ulterior motive. Okay. You just don't know it. Now, this is not about being paranoid or putting out negativity. This is just real life, man. Okay. You got to be aware of, of this stuff. Not everybody deserves your time, energy, and attention. They just don't. So let them think you're bougie. What? Because they don't want to mess with you now. They don't want to be around you. They don't want to talk to you because, you know, you bougie now. It is what it, it, it is, what it is, man. You know, that's how I operate in my life. I, I don't need to tell people what's going on with me. I don't need to open myself up to people that I barely know. I'm not finna go out in public and open myself up to strangers and be an open book. Not finna do that. That that doesn't benefit me at all to do that. You know, I go to God. Whatever problem that I may that I am facing, that I have, I'm going to God for that problem. End of end of story. End of story. Some some folks they shame you for not opening up, for not being an open book. They some people shame you. For not disclosing your problems, for not be for not telling them what's on your mind. Listen, you ain't you ain't got to tell them shit. I don't have to tell you a damn thing. I don't care what you may think of me. If I choose not to tell you certain things about myself. I don't need to open up. Who are you? And that's how I'm starting to operate in my life is not being an open book. Not giving away my information, not giving away, you know, problems that I am going through. 
You know, I'm not I'm not crying the blues. I'm not begging people to understand me. I'm not looking for people to understand me at all. I'm not, you know, I, I don't benefit in any way telling people my business, telling people what I've been through, my trauma, all the heartbreak that I've been through, the fire that I've had to endure. I gain nothing from opening opening up that can of worms. Okay, you don't need to be spilling the beans to anybody about what you're going through. Shut the hell up and just keep on going, keep on fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got time to be weak in front of people. Like these people that that you think that you think are friendly, that that have genuine intentions for your for your life, for you you need to rethink that whole thing again and really analyze the world that you're living in. Analyze the environments that you are in, the people that are in those environments. Pay close attention how they move around you. Pay close, pay close attention to their energy. Okay? Don't ever, if you're around a lot of gossipers and a lot of drama-oriented people, then you know damn well not to tell those people your business or what is going on with you or you know what what you are enduring right now what you're you know what you know what you're going through you don't want to tell them that stuff that information because like i said those people can take your information and run to the next person with it and things can spread you know, things can really spread like wildfire when you tell the wrong person, the wrong individual, certain information. And that and that can go right back to bite you in the ass. So with that being said, man, I don't care what anybody says, be bougie. You know, think, let them think that you're arrogant. Let them think what they want to think because you don't need their validation. You don't need to open up, you know, you don't need them to understand you or even to like you. And that's, and, and that's the, and, and that's where I'm starting to get at now in my life where I don't even care if you think I'm bougie, if you think I'm this way or that way. I don't give a damn. You haven't had one conversation with me. Not one conversation. So I don't give a damn what your opinion is of me. You haven't been in my life. You haven't been through what I've been through. You haven't been through the fire. You have not been grinding with me. You have not been in my life. So, hey man, their opinions of me are irrelevant. I don't value them. I don't put much energy into it. You know, one thing I notice is when you tell people certain things that happen to you, you tell people about your problems, your trauma, whatever. And another reason why that's not good to do is some folks, they just like to look for a weakness. Okay. Some people are just searching a weakness in you. They're searching for a weak point and they want to be able to dissect your weakness. See, when people start to assume things about you, they try to figure you out. They start scanning you, right? Trying to get to know you. You got to watch out when people get too close to you. They, They try to become overbearing. They come on to you too strong. You need to watch out for that and be wary of that energy that they are, that they are showing you. Be careful the ones that, that try to look for a weakness. See, some people would rather just listen, listen to your problems and listen to you vent for the whole sake of Pointing out a weakness in you, not to help you through the problem, but to find a weakness. That's it. 
And they want to expose that weakness and use it against you at some point.